Yes now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Better Winger channel. And today we will be doing some Premier League predictions. That's right, the season is upon us and it's time to see how this man thinks the teams in it are gonna do. I'm streaming live over on Twitch right now, probably somewhere in the world. And guess what? These legends are here. They're watching it. Big up you. Thank you for being here. So if you ever want to catch one, head over to Twitch TV forward slash Bazinga. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, chat. Here we go. We have a setup here. Champions, Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, higher mid table, lower mid table, relegation. I watch some people's Premier League prediction videos and they do like a scoring system. So realistically, you want the less score possible, like golf, okay? Because you want to be the less away from their actual positions. Should we start from the bottom? Should we start from the bottom? I feel like we have to start from the bottom, right? We have to, we have to. We have the newly promoted teams, Ipswich, Leicester, and Southampton. Now, I do think the safest bet here, and I know if you're an Ipswich fan, it's not gonna be great, but I'd, they've been promoted twice on a bounce. I just think the Premier League is a lot harder than most people actually assume. So, I am unfortunately gonna put Ipswich in relegation zone. I just think so. It's a lot harder. Burnley were playing great football in the championship and it went sour. I just don't know if you can do back-to-back -back promotions and then do and stay up in the Premier League. It's a lot to ask. They have a good manager. I know that. I know they've got a, play, uh, a manager that likes to play a decent style of football, but it's switched down. Unfortunately, it's relegation for me. I'm all for newly promoted teams staying up and especially a story like Ipswich or Luton or something. It's just a lot harder. It's just a lot harder than people Imagine. Now, this is where it gets interested, right? Because Leicester don't have nearly as much of a talented squad as they used to have. The safest bet is to go with these teams. And I think if I was going to order it, I'd probably order it like that. I'd probably order the bottom three, Ipswich last, Leicester, Southampton. But I also, I think Brentford will have a bad season. I've just seen someone in the chat say it. Brentwood did, Brentwood? Sorry, mate, that's just in Essex. Brentford last season, without Tony, we're in big trouble. We need Tony to kick on, but apart from that, there's not really much going on. And Brentford's decent. They're not gonna get, they're not gonna get relegated, Brentford, but I do think they're within this, they're within this realm. I think they're in here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Bottom three, Ipswich, Leicester, Southampton. Now we've got to do the 13 to 17. I'm gonna chuck the teams in there that I think will be in and around there, okay? And let me know your initial thoughts on those four teams. Bournemouth without Solanke, that's a valid point, you know? That's a very, that's a, need a fifth. Do I need a fifth? Need one more. Well, the, the, ne the next one would be Bournemouth then. Yeah, 13, 17, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're right, I did need another one. Listen here, guys. The Forest squad will not go down. They've made some decent signings. I think they have some quality players anyway. I really like Morgan Gibbs White. I think he's unreal. They have some decent players in that team, yeah? Where I think they will do enough to stay in the Prem. Wolves, however, have just lost Neto to Chelsea, which I think is such a weird transfer to let Neto go. Neto is major for Wolves, like real a major. He's one of them players where like, you look at their squad on a, on a match day and you think, ah, we need to silence Neto. And now he's gone without Huang Chi. They, they, Huang was um, injured last season for a little while. So was Neto and they was horrible. So I just think you never know how a season's going to go. If Huang ends up getting injured again without a Neto, what's really going to happen? Kilman gone too. Kilman, one of their better defenders. We took him for a variable. It was it was a respectable fee, to be honest. I do think Wolves will be in and around here. Everton, Daishi is a good manager. However, I think losing Onana is massive. Is absolutely massive. I think he's such a good player. And selling him to a like a team like Villa is quite quite mental. But I suppose the price was good. My name's not Andre, mate. Yeah, that clip is so good. Editors, insert the Andre Anana clip, please, because it's so good. And Andre is not even my name, mate. Do you know what I mean? Everton will defo relegate, someone in the chat has said. Palace are a lower mid... No, Palace aren't a lower mid-table team. Dice Aura. This is the reason why I put Dice Aura quite high. But I am tempted. I, I, I don't mind this. I don't mind the way this sort of looks. I don't mind the way this looks. So if we're thinking about it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16... 15, 14, 13. I don't mind how that looks. I really don't mind how that looks. Brentford higher, I reckon. Really? Do you reckon? For now, we're going to leave it how it is for now. And we're going to move up to the higher mid table. Now for the higher mid table, we need 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Another five, right? Higher mid table. Brighton, Palace, Fulham, West Ham. And I hate... Oh, I hate to do it. 
but it's United or Villa for me. I think it's United or Villa for me. I'm not even joking. I think it's United or Villa for me. Villa have got, they've made some great signings. However, I think the, the European fixtures for not doing it in a very long time. Yes, they played in the Conference League, but the Champions League takes it out of players so much more. The Conference League, you saw Blimmin Ramsey sat on the bus and he was going, it's only Conference League. I feel like players, it can consume them more being in the Champions League. I think it plays with them. It will, it will take more out of them. I think the Champions League schedule will affect Villa way more than it will affect another sort of club. Oh, this is tough. Newcastle, yeah, I think Newcastle come higher than eighth. I think Newcastle come higher than eighth. Villa have made some good signings. Letting Douglas Luiz go is trouble for me though. I think Douglas Luiz was massive for them. Like such a player, especially last season. I think he was fantastic. They did sign Onana, but I think Douglas Luiz in that system for Unai was different gravy. He's one of them players where you, again, you watch it on a match day and you thought, he's running this game. This might go down horribly, but I am gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Villa in. I'm gonna put Villa in the higher mid table. All right, now, it's time to organize these. I'm gonna put Fulham at the lower end of this. And I do think, I think West Ham finished 10th. I think West Ham finished 10th this year. And I'm willing to swap this. I think Palace will be okay. I think they'll be okay. Fulham have signed ESR and ESR in preseason has been popping. He's got a couple of goals under his belt. And I think he's one of them players that has always needed, he's always needed that game time. Palace losing Elise, again, massive. But I feel like, I feel like Palace have enough around the pitch if Mateta can kick on like he did last season, Eze, they've got enough core players there. They've got some decent defenders too. Goalkeeper's all right. Gahey, Gahey might leave. I think this is what I'm saying. The core of that Palace team, a Gahey, a decent defender, some decent midfielders. And if Mateta's firing, it's trouble. It's trouble. Eze might leave, Gahey might leave. These were all if, buts and maybes. I would like to believe West Ham do finish higher than this, okay? I would like to believe that. I would like to believe that. But... I think we've got a brand new manager. The preseason hasn't been pretty, but but the signings are magnificent. So if we were to tell us anything, signings S tier, manager B, B or A tier, maybe, who knows? Preseason F tier. But but what I will say is these players, man, have the ability to do lots. Like the way I see the West Ham lineup is Ariola, Wambasaka, Kilman, Tadebo, left back Emerson. This is where it gets really tough because you're gonna put Alvarez in there. We need a holder. We have to have a holder. A holder, Alvarez, with that Rodriguez that we just signed from La Liga. That's a great double pivot of teams. I just think from there onwards, we're in big trouble because you've got to find a place for Bowen, Kudus, Somerville, Fulkrug, Antonio, Suchek, exactly. Where are you putting Suchek? This is what I'm saying. The manager has a lot on his hands. Paqueta even. Look, see, we're fucking, we're talking about Paqueta. Paqueta, Paqueta's not been banned. This is what I'm saying, bro. So from that, from the holding midfielders, the manager has a lot to do. The depth is there, but the manager has a lot to do. It's tough, man. It's really tough. Gilherm, yeah. Gilherme, he signed. Little Brazilian fucking jinky majinky, looking ice cold. But I do think Fulkrug, mind the gap, I do think is gonna, he's gonna kick on. I think no Europe is gonna be difficult to manage players' playtime. Because with our last couple of seasons, if you weren't maybe playing an Antonio or someone so much, you wouldn't be playing a Somerville as much. What you would do is you'd fling them on in the European games. I'll tell you what, I'll put, I'll put Palace below us. So I'm gonna go Aston Villa 8th, West Ham 9th, Crystal Palace 10th, Brighton 11th, Fulham 12th. And I'm happy with that, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Now, going up to Conference League. Conference League is a tough choice. He's cooking. I think I'm cooking. We'll see at the end of the season. But it's always fun to watch these back at the end of the season. It's so much fun to watch at the end of the season. I do think it's gonna be Newcastle. I think it's gonna be Newcastle because I think this traditional big six have done enough in the transfer window to warrant the big six being the big six again, if you know what I mean. That's what I think is going to happen. I think Newcastle have, again, some excellent players. However, I think if they lose Gordon, there's rumours of Gordon going Liverpool. If they end up losing Gordon, big trouble. Tonali's back. Tonali came over to the Prem and kicked ball like he didn't even need to blend in. It was just, the quality was there. You could see it. I do think as well, I love Isaac. Isaac's amazing. Proper love Isaac. For Conference League spot, seventh place, I'm going to go Newcastle. Europa League fifth and sixth, it's going to be in my eyes. I'm going Chelsea United. I'm going I'm going Chelsea United. I'm going Chelsea United. I've bottled it there. I've bottled it there. But that that looking at that on my screen now, that feels better. That feels better to me. Man U at the moment are in sixth place. Aki Spurs. I know. I know chat. I know. 
I know, I know. It's tough to it's tough to say that, but that Spurs team is decent, okay? Especially with the signing of Solanke. I know it's expensive. I think Spurs were missing that proper nine since Kane left. And Solanke's just one of them players that does bag goals. He bags goals. He's done it at Bournemouth. He's going to be playing with better players now. He's going to have Madison behind him. He's going to have Madison behind him. I think it's going to, it's going to be pretty good. In my eyes... I think it's going to be pretty good. I know that Man United today just confirmed that they've made some major signings. They signed De Ligt and Maserati. And I think they, their, new, their new back line, their defence has needed work. But now they have a lot of defenders. They was relying on Johnny... They was relying on Johnny Evans for a lot of last season. So now having the options like that, Yoro that they just signed, I know he's injured for the start of the season, about three months. Hoyland's injured at the start of the season. I think that will play an effect. That's the reason I put them sixth. I think the start of their season will be tough. But I think once the players come back... Once they find who goes where, I think they'll be okay. Europa League, I'm happy with. The Champions League, two, three, four. We need three teams here. And for me, it looks like this. For me, it looks like this. And obviously, in that case, it leaves Man, it leaves Man City as champions. I know the City are open to their hearings early 2025, but I do think City do it five times in a row. Bold shout, Man City have a flop season. Ah, uh, I just don't know, man. Liverpool will be up there. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not knocking them. Just because I've put them in, in second or third, I'm yet to decide, by the way. It could be... I think Arsenal were more due a fall off than City are, for example. I think Arsenal have missed their chance to win the league. That's just my initial thoughts. I think they've missed their chance. It was there, and I think they missed the chance. They just missed the boat. And Liverpool, I think, slot ball could be on. Arsenal is only improving, Bez. You've had a hour. Oh, this is tough, you know, because I, I actually do... For, I'm thinking now, could I do... Could I do that? I think when the United players come back from injury, they might pop. I think they might pop, you lot. Ten Hag's been given the reins again. This is a tough call, man. It's a tough call. I'm going to keep it how it was. I'm going Man City to do something that's never been done before. Five times in a row. The best Premier League team of our generation, without a doubt in my mind. They kept hold of players. It's just what they do, man. They've got some good players coming through as well. City are winning the league. Then I'm locking it in. Arsenal second place. Best defensive record in the league last year. They've signed even better players. Califiori's come in. I do think Arsenal... Oh yeah, fuck it. Arsenal's defence is good. Very, very good. Timber coming back to Arsenal second. Liverpool third place. Slot ball could be effective. Slot ball could be very effective. Could have rejuvenated them a little bit. Liverpool in third place. And getting a rogue Champions League spot is Tottenham Hotspur. I think with Solanke, Madison, Son, Kulisevsky, I think they have enough firepower. Bissouma sitting behind them. I know he does balloons, but that doesn't make him a bad midfielder, okay? That doesn't make him a bad midfielder. He's good. I think Bissouma's great. That top four might be the drunkest I've ever seen. That's crazy, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've locked it in. I cannot change it. I cannot change it. At the end of the season, when everything's said and done, we will watch this video back and we will count a score based on how many points away I was. So, for example, I've put Arsenal second. If they finish fifth, I will get three points. Do you know what I mean? So you want the lowest score possible. This is my Premier League predictions for the 24-25 season. Thank you very much for being here, chat. Appreciate you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching it. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Remember, if you want to catch this over on Twitch, these legends here are in here on a regular basis. There was actually 3,000 people watching this live as it happened. They've all clicked follow, by the way. They all did it. They clicked follow. Anyway, like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.